So I've been reading quite a lot recently, more than ever before to be honest, and I thought that I'd try to make a book review video. It's not going to be your standard book review or synopsis, I hope. It's more going to be my personal opinion in a short and concise form. This first video is going to be about a personal favourite of mine, Perfume by Patrick Siskind. Wow, what a book. The story centres around a boy who goes through childhood and adulthood with everything trying to stop him. His name is Grenolin. Grenul... Granuli? He has a rough childhood in Paris with no family of his own and living in different foster homes. Fortunately, a rather oblivious lady called Madame Gaylord takes him under her roof. Then, after a few years, he became an apprentice of a tanner against all odds, surviving the plague and becoming a very vigilant worker. He was left with a few rather unattractive scars on his face, but having said that, most people in France at that time weren't the prettiest. Now, that was kind of the general build to the story. Having looked at German literature of the 1980s, perfume is completely different to every other thing of its time. That fact alone captivated me and wanted me to find out more. But Patrick's descriptive language, where he almost described too much, but never actually did, is just completely enchanting. He brought the whole story to life. What's actually really interesting is that most of these words, if not all, were completely comprehensible. He just stood everything. There was no fancy words for just the sake of it. For work as such, this is nearly unheard of. In my opinion, this is one sign of a truly great piece of writing. Going back to my personal synopsis, this guy Granuli has a very special gift. His scent. He can smell anything from miles away and distinguish it exactly. He can smell the type of wood, the freshness of big goods, people's hormone changes as they feel anger, attraction, or even fear. He can smell flowers from miles away. And finally, what a perfume consists of exactly. With such a gift, he could be seen as supernatural, unstoppable. But Granuli has but one nemesis. He has no smell of his own. Without giving too much away right now, this kind of brings them back to life, in a sense, later on. With such a powerful nose, he naturally finds himself encompassed by the making of perfumes. Once he gets the hang of working for the best perfumers in France, and be able to strip the scent out of nearly anything you can think of, tries to capture and create a scent, a human scent that he can call his own. This one motive drives him through disease, caveman likeness through every single thing that he encounters. You can probably see where the story is going, although it has some wobbly turns and the plot thickens, but I shall stop here. The book is such a great read. Oh my god. But the ending is absolutely incredible. It's so hard to grasp and overwhelming almost. It's ridiculous and so, so deep. I personally had to sit back and take it in for a few minutes. Wow. No other book that I have read has done this to me. In total, concluding this review, if you enjoy something that takes you away from reality and immerses you slap bang middle in an incredible environment, you need to read this book. It is a masterpiece of our time. Patrick, you are an absolute genius. This was my first attempt of making a book review type of video. So I would really appreciate it if you guys could tell me what you thought about it. What I could change, what I could leave out, what I could improve on. And if too, make more videos of this sort because there's quite a few other books I'd love to talk about. As always, thank you for watching.